<laughs> Welcome back. Now, here at this show, we like to play a game called Were You Paying Attention, where I will quiz people in the studio audience on things that have happened just moments ago in the show. Now, normally, post-show, our staff will mock those audience members for not being able to remember something that literally just happened in this very <laughs> studio. Often they're like, I mean, crikey, how hard is it? So tonight, we thought it'd be fun to see how well they fare at this game. They don't know about this. This is Were You Paying Attention? Late Late Show Staff Edition. Were you paying attention? Now, yeah, that was a less enthusiastic clap, wasn't it? <laughs> You're like, really? <laughs> well, it's pretty simple. I'm going to quiz members of our staff, people here in this very room, about things that have happened so far in this show. If they answer correctly, they get a prize. If they answer wrong, they have to drop what they're doing and leave the studio immediately. It's a bit of fun. <laughs> the excitement in the room is palpable. <laughs> let's get started. And first, let's go to Susan. <laughs> Susan! How are you feeling, Susan? A little nervous now. A little nervous? <laughs> Susan, for people at home who don't know, what is your job here on The Late Late Show? I do audio things, and among them, I mic you. You do? Yes. Every day. And I have to say this, and I'm going to say this right now, and to be clear, I don't want this to become a thing, I'm not going to be nice about everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, today is show 800, and from show number one, Susan, I don't think, has any idea her, how her calmness and joy has brought a sense of calm and joy to me for every single show. And I mean that, Susan. <laughs> you are amongst the absolute <laughs> best. Yeah, sweet. OK. Thank but you. if you get this wrong, you're gone. <laughs> OK. Fired. No more. Oh. OK? That's not true. You won't be fired I... legally. <laughs> we looked into it. We're not allowed to. But... <laughs> OK, Susan, here is your question. At the end of the monologue, what item did I use from the drawer in my desk? Hand sanitizer. Let's have a look and see if Susan's right. I know we've talked about this. That's what we do at the end of the mono. Susan, you're absolutely right. of staff, you've earned your keep. Here, you will get this $50 blue bottle gift card, but come and get it. OK. So you can remain alert throughout the show. Not too close. Well done, Susan, absolutely correct. Susan! All right. Who shall we go to next? Let's go to... Rob Engala. Where is Rob? Look at Rob. Engala, there he Engala, is. Engala. How are you doing, Rob? Are you good? I was good. <laughs> <laughs> now, Rob, explain to people at home, what do you do here at The Late Late Show? I'm the coordinating producer for the show. Coordinating producer? Yep. So, really, someone who should be paying a lot of attention. Uh, yeah. One minute he's coordinating, the next minute he's producing, every now and then... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you've been paying attention during the show, Rob? Yeah, mostly. Mm? <laughs> Be honest, have you ever zoned out during a show? <laughs> no, I don't think I've zoned out, but I've taken my focus onto other, maybe like tomorrow's show or something. <laughs> I, you know. <laughs> that is such a bull <laughs> answer. <laughs> no, no, no. I may have zoned out of this show, but only because I'm zoning into other exactly. shows. <laughs> Now, Rob, this is an easy one, OK? I'm going to read you a verse from Lycason, which you just heard just now at this desk, All right. OK? All you have to do is give me the missing app that I named at the end, OK? Message me on GroupMe, Gwyneth me on GoopMe, cancel my res on Open Table, betray my what? Trust on Cain and Abel? He's gone with Betray My Trust on Cain no, and Abel. Let's see if he was right. Message me on Group Me, Gwyneth me on Goop Me, cancel my res on Open Table, Betray My Brother on Cain and Abel. Oh! Uh. You've let me... Now, just in that moment, he zoned out from this show and started thinking... 
He thought, oh, work. brother, oh, brother, what's on Thursday's show? And he was gone. <laughs> now, normally, you've paid attention, Rob. What do we normally get the audience to do during this segment? We'd have to sing uh, on our way out. That's right. But because of COVID restrictions, we're not going to get you to sing. No. You've got to dance your way out of the <laughs> studio. Let's take a look at the dance you must create on your way out. OK, it's the Dougie. Rob, you love the Dougie. This is perfect. Cue music. Casey Tasty lights. Rob, Tasty we'll Tasty see you later. Tasty 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 yeah! Woo! Unbelievable. Let's try one more person. Let's go to Pete. <laughs> Pete, that's the best. <laughs> it's just gone. Pete, come on. Can I concede? Pete, you've never let me down. Now, Pete, for anyone at home who doesn't know, what do you do on the show? Uh, just try and stay focused, boss. Just focused on the cameras. Pete, I asked Rob this question. Do you ever find yourself, when you're on camera, zoning out at any point? You're talking to a cameraman, boss. <laughs> it's a miracle if you're zoned in, let's be honest. <laughs> I, I, I... I'm looking at what I look at. That's it. Now, yep. Pete, do you feel confident? You feel confident that you can do this? Absolutely not. All right, well, let's find out. Pete, here's your question. In the monologue, I mentioned the... Now, oh, this is so difficult. I don't even think I'd be able to do this. I, me... I mentioned the name of Michael Cohen's tell-all book. <laughs> what is the full name of that book? <laughs> Betrayal, colon, and insiders? No. I have no idea. Let's have a look and see if you're right. The book is called Disloyal, colon, a memoir, colon, the true story of the former personal attorney to the president, Donald J. Trump. There it is. I am sorry, Pete. You've let me down. You've let the camera crew down. It is time to dance your way straight to the parking lot. And let's be honest, Pete, you could probably go home now. Let's take a look at the... Pete, it's the Carlton. Let's have some music. Casey lights. Pete, dance your way out of here. Let's go. Oh, yes! Go on, Pete! <laughs> that was worth you paying attention. Some people are, some people aren't. But when we come back, Hilary Swank's going to be here. Come on back, everyone.